This week's report comes to us from a news release by Giselle Galustian at Florida Atlantic University, and it relates to one of the most popular critters in the ocean, sea turtles. It turns out, for sea turtles, weather plays an even more important role in life's beginnings than previously known. Female sea turtles come ashore to lay their eggs, bury them in sand, and return to the sea, leaving the eggs to hatch on their own. The chances of survival are low due to threats like predators and climate changes. Out of all the hatchlings, only about 1 in 1,000 will make it to adulthood. The size of a hatchling matters a lot. Bigger hatchlings can move faster, which helps them spend less time on dangerous beach sands. Research shows that both air and sand temperatures affect how sea turtle hatchlings grow. Cooler temperatures produce bigger and heavier hatchlings, and more males, while warmer temperatures make hatching happen faster and can help protect them from predators. For endangered species like loggerhead and green sea turtles, cooler, wetter conditions create stronger hatchlings. But rising temperatures and unpredictable rainfall can interfere with their development and hurt their chances of survival. Finding the right balance between temperature and moisture is key for the turtles. Too much moisture can actually harm the embryos. A study led by Florida Atlantic University and the University of Tübingen looked into how changing rainfall affects sea turtle hatchlings. They found that rainfall has a bigger impact on hatchlings than temperature. The research gathered data from 37 beaches worldwide, including a long-term study in Florida and experiments in Cape Verde. It revealed that rainfall cools the sand and provides moisture that's crucial for egg development, making it a better predictor of hatchling size than temperature alone. The study, published in BMC Ecology and Evolution, showed different effects on loggerhead and green turtles. For loggerheads, heavy rainfall produced hatchlings with smaller shells but heavier weight. Green turtles, on the other hand, had smaller shells with no change in weight. This research highlights the importance of local weather data in understanding how different conditions affect sea turtle development. Such data can help improve conservation strategies as climate change continues to alter global temperatures. The study began by collecting data from Boca Raton, comparing hatchling size with local weather. Then, researchers expanded to 19 beaches with loggerhead hatchlings and 17 with green turtle hatchlings. A third part of the study looked at hatchlings in Cape Verde after a few days of rain during their dry season to see how rain affected their size. In areas like Cyprus and Turkey in the Mediterranean, green turtles only feel the effects of rain after the dry season ends. Meanwhile, Florida's nesting season is marked by fairly consistent rainfall, though heat waves and droughts can hit in July and October. It's not clear exactly how rain affects hatchling size, said Jeanette Weinken, PhD co-author and professor, Department of Biological Sciences, at Florida Atlantic University's Charles E. Schmidt College of Science. One idea is that rain cools the nests, which can change the temperature and impact the sex ratio of the hatchlings. This could lead to differences in hatchling size and shape, similar to how male and female hatchlings of other turtles, like the giant river turtle, have different shell shapes. As climate change alters rainfall patterns, making wet places even wetter and dry places drier, it's becoming clear that conservation strategies for sea turtles, especially loggerhead and green turtles, may need to be updated. To protect these turtles, Wynikin says, conservation efforts should focus on regularly updating important nesting sites and ensuring local conservation work is a priority. By analyzing data from specific nesting sites, we can better understand sea turtle nesting habits. Making this local data easier to access and share will improve our knowledge and strengthen conservation efforts worldwide. Here's hoping for just the right amount of precipitation in just the right places where it's needed for happy turtle hatchlings for many years to come. Don't stop here. Find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video. Or if you are a part of a wildlife organization doing something interesting right now, let us know in the comments.